Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate day two of the baking powder biscuit with cinnamon sugar or AKA cinnamon buns. I have all my equipment out and I have all my ingredients out. So the first thing it tells me is to line the cookie sheet with parchment paper. I'm going to wait to the end because I don't know if I'm going to have enough time uh, to do this. All right, I've melted my butter. In class, I'm going to have a cinnamon sugar um, mixture already prepared for you. So the first direction tells me to lightly, count, uh, lightly flour the counter. Okay, the counter has been cleaned, okay? There will be cutting boards available, flimsy cutting boards available for you to use, but I like to use uh, the countertop. So I'm going to lightly flour my surface. I'm going to take my dough. It tells me to slightly flatten it. Now it is a little sticky, so what I'm going to do is take a little bit of flour from there. And I'm going to put this like that. And I'm going to spread my flour around. All right, so I'm going to take my rolling pin. What I like to do is just take a little bit of flour and put it on the outside of the rolling pin too. So I don't like to use the handle of a rolling pin. I don't know why, I just think it's, it's better when you just use your two hands and roll. So it says roll out trying to make a rectangular shape. You may not quite get rectangular, okay, but I'm gonna kind of roll out from the center in all directions. You're actually gonna see those little pieces of butter, okay, on your dough. You probably can't see it in the video. So rolling out from the center. So I'm probably going to go a little bit bigger than what I'm going to have you do in class, just for the demo. Actually, I have nobody to really feed. I'm probably going to find some students in the hallway to taste this. Okay, but there's some nice chunks of butter that are going to taste really good okay, when it comes to eating this. So it's more like a square rather than a rectangle. Again, you don't want to go too hard. You want to make sure that it's actually going to come up uh, from your surface and I'm good. All right, so the next direction says using a pastry brush, this is a pastry brush, I'm going to spread the butter on the dough. So a very light coating, you don't need a lot. The butter is for a little bit of flavor and then it's going to help the cinnamon sugar mixture uh, stick or adhere to the dough. So very light coating. I still have a lot of butter in here. You don't have to use it. Put that to the side. And then basically what I'm going to do is sprinkle. I'm not going to sprinkle. I'm going to give you a bowl and you're just going to take your hands and you're going to just take all this cinnamon sugar and put it all around. So you may want to ask, do I need more? Just watch how much you put on because when you do cut it, some of the cinnamon sugar will come out. So students usually go a little bit lighter on it and I tend to tell them just to go a little bit heavier because you're going to cut this and you're going to want cinnamon and sugar in each piece. So this is where I changed the recipe from a regular baking powder biscuit. At this point, you wouldn't have rolled it this thin. You would have had about a half inch thick and you would have taken a biscuit cutter and just cut them into biscuits, okay? You would bake them and then you would put butter on them at the end. But what I do is I like things sweet, so I roll it out and then I put the cinnamon and sugar and at this point in my direction it says rolling from, beginning from the long side, you're going to roll the dough tightly and you're going to seal it. So I, I kind of look even um, over looking at it all, but I'm going to go from my left to my right. When you do this, you're going to start out very slowly and you want to try to roll it nice and tight. You're just taking and very slowly rolling it. When I cut this, some of the cinnamon sugar may come out. Just going from one end to the other, just getting the, my fingertips underneath as I roll it. Continue to roll. Continue to roll. And then when you get to the end, so here's my end. What I want you to do at this point is you're going to take the end piece and pinch it and press it up top very carefully. So I have my oven preheated at 450 degrees and my temperature is good to go. This is where you are actually going to need a cutting board. So I have a cutting board over here. I'm going to carefully pick up the cinnamon roll and place it on my cutting board. And I know I just had a knife only I could find my knife now. 
we would be all set. So I'm going to grab another knife. Okay, so this is where I'm actually going to need my parchment paper. Parchment paper is different than wax paper. Parchment paper uh, can go in the oven. Wax paper cannot. Parchment paper basically just replaces um, you greasing your cooking sheet and it also makes for nice easy cleanup. You see how it's rolling up? That's the only problem with it. So I'm going to flip it over and it should stay. If it doesn't, I'm going to take my knife and just hold it there. Well, I can't use my knife now, can I? Because I'm going to use the top of the knife. So what I like to do is just take the end piece off. If you want, you can dip your knife. Be careful, these knives are very, very sharp. They're small, but looks are um, deceiving because they're extremely, extremely sharp. So what I do is take the end piece off. Then at this point, you're going to go about a half inch thick. And you're going to cut, and you're going to keep cutting. So if you look, then when you place them, you're going to hold it tight. Again, like I said, you may lose some of the cinnamon. You put them with the cut side up. And as I put them on, I'm then, of course, going to take the top of that knife off. All right, I'm going to keep cutting. So somebody can cut them in class. Somebody can then transfer them. See how I'm using my other hand? Just kind of guide me. Again, you want them all the same size. So if you see me keep looking up at the cameras because I want to make sure my camera doesn't run out on me. So again, I'm going to go back. I'm going to take this piece. So I really haven't had a lot of cinnamon sugar fall out because when I rolled it, I rolled it nice and tight. Oops, that one almost fell apart, but I kind of got it back in there. So again, this is going to make the hallway of Islip Middle School smell delicious. And I'm sure as it's cooking, students are going to come by, faculty may come by, staff may come by wondering what is being cooked and what they're really looking for is for a taste of it. So we'll see how I feel if I want to give it away. I know I can't all of these on my lunch break. Right? Even these little ones. There we go. Okay, so these are going to go in the oven at 450 degrees from 12 to 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it for six minutes. I'm going to turn my tray and go another six minutes. The turning of the trays because the back of the oven is usually a little bit hotter than the front of the oven. So you want everything to bake evenly. All right, so I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to get cleaned up. And when they come out of the oven, I'm going to show you what they look like can't show you how they're going to smell, but if we had like smell a vision you would be able to smell it. But if you were to make these at home, you will be able to understand the smell and you're going to be making them in class too. Okay, so I'll show you day two in one minute. Okay, so my bacon powder biscuits are about to come out. I got about one minute to two minutes left um, on my timer. So what I've done is I've made a confectionery sugar frosting. So basically all it is is confectionery sugar, which is powdered sugar with a little bit of milk. You drizzle a little bit of milk at a time to get the consistency that you want. What I suggest you do is sift the powdered sugar first because it comes out a little chunky and the sifter is going to make it nice and fluffy. I also added a little bit of vanilla to give it a little flavor. So I used a whisk and then it just sat here for a moment. So I have a four candy too. I've also put wax paper underneath a cooling rack to help with cleanup. And I have a pair of tongs that's going to help me get the cinnamon biscuits or uh, cinnamon buns off of the hot cookie sheet. I'm going to place them here. Then I'm going to take and drizzle the frosting over the top. And then I'm going to place them onto this plate. And I'm probably going to take a walk around the building and see if anybody wants to taste uh, some of my cinnamon buns. So I'm going to go over and take these out of the oven. I can't show you because my camera can't move as it's up on top of a table and then on a stool and then attached to a camera clipper. So I'm going to turn my timer off. My timer had five more seconds. 
So these are the cinnamon biscuits. They're nice and golden. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but my paper is starting to brown. It doesn't burn, it doesn't melt. Okay, again, it's replacing, greasing the cookie sheet. And it's nice, easy cleanup, because this is gonna take all period. Okay, so I'm gonna now transfer. You're always gonna, have to, I use my right hand, okay, to take the biscuits off. I have my left hand with an oven mitt, so I don't burn my hand. And you're gonna see how nice and easy they come off because I used the parchment paper. Hopefully you can see. They smell delicious. They have a golden color underneath. Sometimes you want to be careful with cinnamon and sugar because it tends to burn, but we're going to make sure we keep it uh, away from the bottom of the oven. We're going to do it on the middle rack. I'm going to just move these over to the side here. So I'm going to make the uh, confectionery sugar icing for you. That's one less thing you guys are going to have to do. All right, so I have just enough room. I'm gonna move this to the side. Now basically all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna remix this again quickly. And I'm just gonna very quickly take and drizzle this over the top. And that's up to you how much. You don't want too much uh, of the uh, frosting because then it's going to get them a little soggy. So I think I have just enough. And again, it's just adding more calories, which at this time of the year, after the holidays, I know I don't need more of. So delicious. And then again, I'm going to transfer to a plate. You would be transferring them probably to your mouth or to a plastic, uh, I'm sorry, or a paper bag for you to take them home, take them to your class. So you're only gonna get a few of these. This is something, again, you're not gonna wanna really reheat in the microwave. If they do make it home, I would pop them into the oven at a very low temperature of about 300 to warm them up. And it's gonna really make for some nice, easy cleanup. You're just really gonna have to put them out. You're gonna take all this extra icing and this is just basically going to go in the garbage. So that is bacon powder biscuits kicked up a few notches with some extra uh, cinnamon and sugar. Okay, so I hope you enjoy making these in class and again, possibly doing it at home.